You're watching rare 1954 film footage of Florida State University playing NC State. The young halfback playing for FSU, number 46, was known to his friends and family as Buddy. Today, the world knows him as Bird. Uh, when I graduated from high school, I was what they call a blue chip football player. I had a lot of football scholarships. And I was all state and all southern, but as the years have gone by, I was I become all world. And, uh, you know, you get better as the years go by in your mind. But uh, I have got to the point where... Uh, the smell of uh, cut grass doesn't make me crazy anymore. You had, uh, must have had aspirations to be a professional player at one time as a young Yeah, I, I was contacted by the Colts uh, when I was a sophomore, and um, I wanted desperately to play pro football. That's all I ever wanted to do. I think that uh, had I gone on to play pro football, uh, I don't think I really had the speed for it. I wasn't a natural athlete. I was just uh, somebody who was very aggressive, and uh, I like to just crash and burn or win. And uh, that's kind of been the story of my career. Most of my films are that way. They either crash and burn or they're big hits. <laughs> I had real bad wheels. And uh, up until the time that uh, the wheels went, uh, I was doing real well. It was those injuries that turned Bert's dream of being a professional football player onto the road to Hollywood and eventually to become America's number one box office attraction. He may never have looked back, but he never forgot his Florida roots, memories, and friends. And as part owner of the Tampa Bay Bandits, it's Burt Reynolds' boyhood dream come true. I have I had very strong feelings about the fact that it would work. Um, mostly because uh, when football season is on, you know, you just shove the food under my door and I don't leave the room while I'm watching the two. And there's an awful lot of football players out there that are 20 pounds too small, too short, uh, but are really aggressive and, and deserve a shot. So to have a chance to be part of a league full of those kind of guys. He's got his friends in on the act, too, with Lonnie Anderson posing for that famous billboard and country music star Jerry Reed singing the Bandit theme song. Burt's carried his football playing style into the world of movies, too. I attack my work. I really go after it. But... Uh, I attack fun too. I play real hard, and uh, and I and I try to rest. Uh, I try to get my eight hours sleep and drink my soup and take my vitamins. But I also like to have a, a real good time. Bert, how important is football to you? I think every uh, ex jock, as the years go by, uh, it becomes uh, they become better. What has football given you? It's the idea that, uh, I know this is a cliche, and I know you've heard it a million times, but it really is true, is getting knocked down and getting back up again. Uh, you have to remember when I first went to California, that was the years of, of Rock Hudson and Tab Hunter, and uh, you know everybody had a name that sounded very strange, and uh, they were all gorgeous, you know. Uh, and I looked like uh, a, a bad road, you know. And I thought, well, this is, I want to be playing bad guys the rest of my life. But I believed. I really felt there was a place for me. And uh, and every time I got knocked down, I got up and kept going. And uh, part of it was that. Part of it was the football. Did you ever think it would come to this? No. I, you can't fathom the, the, the kind of... Uh, Success that I've been lucky enough to have in the last few years. I mean, it's, that's that's so much love and luck and God smiling on you and all kinds of things.